Guys, excited na ako, no? Kasi we're going to meet the Philippines' uh, biggest Kobe Bryant sneakers collector. I must admit, I know nothing about Kobe Bryant, guys, no? I'm sure marami sa inyo mga fans, pero ako, hindi pa ako masyadong fans. I want to know more about Kobe Bryant. I'm sure I'm going to learn a lot from this guy. Oh my! Good, good day, good day. How are you guys doing? collection It's not fixed yet, not fixed yet. Pero oh, guys, guys, pa lang, medyo, uh -oh. uh, magulo. Oh. But yeah, welcome po, welcome, welcome dito. And, uh, wow! How many, how many sneakers do you have? Uh, with Kobe, the, huh? With the Kobe, I, I stick to 81. 81. <laughs> Well, is it safe to say that you're the biggest Kobe Bryant collector in the Philippines? Um, no, no. no. I, I would say there are, there are like huge Kobe collectors out there, and uh -huh. uh -huh. But I would say I'm one of them. Uh -huh. That's good. That's but Siguro, my uh -huh. heart, I'm the biggest. Uh -huh. <laughs> so you gotta tell me more about the sneakers, because I'm gonna learn, right? Definitely, definitely. Let's go. <laughs> Julius Babao Unplugged. Julius Babao. Julius Babao Unplugged. Julius Babao Unplugged. Now I'm in Randall, one of the avid collectors of uh, Kobe Bryant sneakers, a collector since the year 2000. Siyempre malungkot yung uh, balita because uh, as we all know, Kobe and uh, his daughter died recently because of a helicopter crash. Uh, how would you describe the feeling, uh, Randall, when you found out na gano na nangyari? The craziest part, Sir Julius about it. Uh -huh. It was like the night before he died, my son went up to me asking me about the release of this Kobe 5 uh, Pro Tro Big Stage. Mm -hmm. And we were like ordering uh, this stuff from a friend, right? So we were talking about it. Mm -hmm. we, were, we were ordering it for like two hours. Uh -huh. and then I fell asleep around, uh, around 1 a.m. Uh -huh. Now, not, not, not even like two hours. Mm -hmm. My son woke me up mm -hmm. in the middle of the night. Mm -hmm. Was it 3, 3 a.m., right? 3 a.m. Mm -hmm. And he was shaking. Mm -hmm. He was shaking. I'm like, mm -hmm. what? Kobe, Kobe's dead. Mm -hmm. Tonight, authorities just releasing the chilling 911 calls that came in just seconds after the helicopter carrying Kobe Bryant and eight others crashed. The helicopter crashed into a mountain. We heard it, and now I'm looking at the flame. The helicopter, flying through heavy fog, slammed into the Calabasas Hills in Los Angeles. Did he cry? When he cried, well, <laughs> When we went, when, yeah, when it's he, okay, it's okay. no, no, when he cried, uh, that's when I realized that it's real, right? I took my phone from, the, I took my phone straight away. Then I checked, right? And then when you, when you saw the news, na galing lahat sa reliable source, mm -hmm. I broke down. And to us Filipinos, mm -hmm. like he went here yeah. for like six times already. Imagine uh -huh. that, six times. Uh -huh. Uh, 98, uh, 2007, 2009, 2011, 13, and 16. Yeah. And I was just so fortunate to be there. Mm -hmm. Salat ng punta Because Kobe went to the Philippines six times, and the Philippines has become a special part of his life. Uh, he even designed a sneakers for us Filipinos. Uh, Randall, can you tell us about the sneakers? Uh, in 2014, uh, uh, this came out. Uh, the, the, the Kobe 9 EM Philippines. Mm -hmm. uh, sobrang lacking bagay for us Filipinos, you mm -hmm. know, to have this kind of shoe yeah. uh, coming off the Kobe lines. Yeah. If you'd see, uh, if you see the, the, the chrome part right here, mm -hmm. uh, it symbolizes the jeepney. Ah, the really? aluminum. Oh. You know, like the jeepney uh, aluminum. Oh. Then the, the bluish uh -oh. uh, part of the outsole. Uh -oh. um, Came from the uh, the barangay basketball. Barangay basketball. Uh, uh, floor, the flooring. <laughs> ah, the flooring. The paint. The paint. The paint. Oh. And the best part. Parang epoxy paint. Yeah. No? It's, <laughs> the best oh part gosh, is this. That's nice. This is the seepet chinelas. Oh, oh. And you know when you dig down, uh, how do we came up with this? Oh, oh. Is because like Kobe has seen all the street balls here in the Philippines. Uh -huh. That's he he sees everybody plays with. With no shoes, mm -hmm. so uh, it says here uh -huh. that no shoes, no problem. 
We play with we, we play with the seatbelt. Ah, we go. Ah, kasi nakita niya yung mga batang Pilipino nagba-basketball na naka-chinelas lang. Right, right, right. Oh, and play it's a tribute to them. And plays with the same intensity. Oh my god. You gosh. know, diba? So the same uh, oh. uh same uh effort oh. lahat. Oh. So what he's trying to say here is you don't really need the sneakers to play. Yeah. Because we have chinelas you can play. Yeah, because like <laughs> the, the passion is there. Uh-oh. That enough for us Filipinos. Like, you Uh-oh. know, we're very passionate with the yeah. game. Uh-oh. So we play, we play with even with the ice too big lang pustahan. Right? So, you know. Uh, so obviously, uh, Kobe was inspired, though, no? by the things that he saw. He is. Oh, even the fabric, guys, no? Yung material na ginamit dun sa uppers niya is... Filipino eh, parang ethnic uh, yeah. material, mm-hmm. ethnic fabric. Right. Oh, oh. and uh, it has a signature here. Oh. Well, pretty much, the pinaha, pinaha, nag, nag signify talaga uh, dito is the. Ito the talaga the yeah, yeah. no? Oh, so makano mo na I got this in retail. Oh, which so is just so, which is around 180 dollars. Oh, yeah, almost. Eight thousand. Yeah, roughly. Oh, grabe, makano na ito? That I don't know. I mean, I had it. We had it check. Cause like you know, every single pair of Kobe nowadays. That's about long time after what happened. Uh-oh. I went. It went skyrocket. Oh. So you know, hoard again, right? So bra. Uh-oh. I don't like. If I'm not mistaken, Nike held Uh-oh. everything. Oh. You know, they held lot of merchandise to Kobe. Yeah. So go to pay respect. Uh-oh. And this one's for keeps, talaga, guys. Cause even na. Eventually one day masisira din siya. At least merong significant na na factor ito dun sa life ni ano ni Kobe Bryant because right. it's also special to us Filipinos. Ngayon lang ako nakakita ha, ng sneakers na may chinela sa ilalim. Right. Mm-hmm. Sobrang ano talaga to, specifically made for uh, Filipinos. Kaya we should all be proud no dun sa ginawa ni Kobe. Ito ngayon, nagulat ako kasi nung pagdating pa lang namin dito, the first thing that I saw is this. Uh, very special to sa akin kasi hindi pa ako collector ng sneakers meron na ako nito mm-hmm. because I'm a fan of Bruce Lee right. kaya nung nakita ko yung design na ganito wow mm-hmm. yeah, binili ko agad siya kasi si Kobe like he's a he's a huge uh, yeah. uh, Bruce Lee yeah, fan then. Uh, uh, huge Bruce Lee fan uh, so if you'd read uh, the the story behind this uh, sobra siyang talagang makita mo uh, uh, it's really a Kobe thing uh-huh. that you know being like you know Bruce Lee Bruce uh-huh. Lee could just you know a beat the shit out of five guys, <laughs> uh-huh, right? Uh-huh. And just so is Kobe. Uh-huh. Like sometimes, like he would just uh, uh, beat the whole team uh-huh. out of his own back. Uh-huh. You know, like you know, one time he scored 62 points in three quarters, uh-huh. outscoring another team, the whole team. Uh-huh. So it's more of like that, you know. Uh-huh. So he's a fan. Of he Bruce is. Lee. He oh. is a huge fan of Bruce Lee. Oh, okay. Let's look at the sneakers, guys. No. Oh, yeah. Anong anong material ginamit dito? Parang medyo ano ah uh, synthetic leather yeah, no. Yeah, parang synthetic na oh. Ay, may ano pa ito yung parang sugat ni Bruce Lee yeah. sa movie di ba? Mm-hmm. And the collar. Scratch. Oh. It, this is his uh, ano outfit. Oh, the jumpsuit. The jumpsuit that he yeah, wore. Yeah, the the original. Ito may nakalaban niya si Jabbar? I think so. <laughs> right, right. Yung oh. yung ano niya, oh. yung jumpsuit oh. ni Bruce Lee na yellow na para oh. siyang ganitong colorway. Oo. Oh. Grabe, ang ganda, oh. Look at the colors. It, it, this is an old shoe, but this oh. is one of my favorite pa rin, up to now. I know. Uh, kaya nga ako, uh, up to now, I am still looking for my pair because na misplaced na yata somewhere in the house. So, <laughs> since nung nawala si Kobe, hinanap ko talaga siya, I, but I couldn't find it. So, I don't know. Wow. So, uh, kung sino man na nakakita ng sneakers ko, eh, paki- <laughs> i-return na ho, ah. <laughs> Kasi hinahanap ko na siya. Okay. What about this? Tell us oh. about this. Uh-huh. This is the... Uh, uh, January 22, mm-hmm. 2006. Mm-hmm. When this guy uh, shook the whole world mm-hmm. by uh, scoring 81, 81 points in a game. Mm-hmm. Uh, the second best uh, uh, performance mm-hmm. in uh, basketball uh, mm-hmm. in a basketball history. Uh-huh. So he scored 81 points wearing this, which is the Kobe... Nike Kobe Zoom One. Zoom One. Yeah. Uh, uh, everybody's basing it on the history on yeah. the, uh, of every shoe, yeah. right? So this one is really a must-have mm-hmm. for a Kobe head, because uh-huh. you know, like that, that 81 points. I think it'd be there for the longest time. Oh. 81 points in one single game. In one single game, a 28 wow. out of 46 oh. field goal. Uh-huh. Uh You know, and that game is like a, a come from behind uh, uh-huh. victory uh-huh. against the Toronto Raptors. 
for every Kobe fan, you know, like you'd go, what did he wear during that game? Uh -huh. So parang it's very important for you to have mm. these pair. Oh, like if you're going to get it now, how much would this cost? Oh man, <laughs> I, I think it's always gonna go double, you know, uh -huh. or if not triple, but it's gonna go uh -huh. double. Uh -huh. Crazy, because you know the the problem is right now is yung yung an availability. Uh -huh. No. Talagang naka-hoard naka lahat. Ay, naka naka -hoard, yeah, for sure. Oh, oh, oh. Alright, so uh, let's look at the sneakers, guys. No? Very simple nga. Uh, look at the details. Oh, parang ano, no? Uh, unfinished nga yung ano eh, no? Parang very rough yung pagkakastitch yeah. nung... Kasi parang yung leather niya... Nung swoosh. Uh, hindi siya yung, yung parang engineering ngayon. Oh, oh. So sometimes, parang hindi comfortable yung iba to wear it. Because like, oh. it's built for a guy that is like six footer, yeah. like six foot and above. Oh, it's a uh, pretty light, no? Um, kaya lang yung yung walang flare, alam mo yon? Yeah, it's very no, simple. It's oh. like a, li a little. There's no edge to it. Yeah. <laughs> when you look at it, parang it's just a normal sneakers. Oh, yon, yon. Maybe that's the appeal of it, no? Kasi nga very significant yung history niya, very rich yung history right. ng sneakers. What about this? Oh, this uh, man. Uh, uh, every every Kobe sneakerhead, mm. I would say this would be their. Mandatory. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ito yung favorite ng lahat. Because uh -huh. like right now, lalo na on how emotional all the Kobe fans are. Mm -hmm. This is the last pair of shoe that he wore. Uh, April 13, 2016. The guy scored 60 points mm -hmm. to end his career. Uh, it was a battle between what? Uh, Utah Jazz. Uh, Utah, Utah Jazz and Lakers. It's also a come from behind win. Uh -huh. You know? Um, I had a video. We were at the NBA cafe. Okay. All of the Kobe fans, we were there. Uh -huh. You know, uh, and uh, we were there from from the first quarter when they were down, mm -hmm. down to the fourth when they were getting you know getting back at it, uh -huh. and then Kobe single-handedly, you know, did it for the Lakers. So you know, like how he always do it uh -huh. back then. It's a crazy treat uh -huh. for the fans. Uh -huh. Yung yung mga when you when you were there. If you were there. And then you know, like the normal Kobe, like the five, four, three, two, one thing. Well, uh -huh. it was not, it wasn't a buzzer beater, uh -huh. but it's still the same effect because uh -huh. it's a come from behind and they they led I don't know, nine seconds uh -huh. uh, with a Kobe shot. So it's crazy. This is the Kobe Eleven Fade to Black, uh -huh. Uh -huh. the Fade to Black uh, edition. Uh -huh. Let's look at the details of the sneakers. Uh, yeah, mga describe mga ano ano mga material ginamit dito. Uh, these are parang they used fly knits uh, uh -huh. dito. Uh, and uh, uh, actually, if you would take a look at it, it's still so pretty simple, then say. Yes, yes. Uh, the knits. And it's uh, really low, huh? It low. is. It is low. I mean, uh -huh. there's a story behind it. Uh -huh. uh, and the uh, like, you know, like the gold finish. Yeah. Uh, so swoosh. Uh -huh. And the details of all of the details here. Uh -huh. It's quite a kind of different because it's embossed the mga the mga logos. Uh -huh. And uh, you would you you would, uh, you you'd see here. This is this is the date. Date date of the game. The date of the game. Mm -hmm. XX is twenty. This is twenty years. Uh huh. X X twenty. Yeah. That's twenty the, years of twenty playing. years of playing. Mm -hmm. So parang it's a tribute sneakers. No? Yeah, it is. Oh, to uh, to cap his uh, no, his his uh, career career as mm -hmm. a player. Yep. Oh, oh. very special talaga itong sneakers. It is. Ito. It is. So tell us about the the history. Why is it low? Unlike other. Uh, okay. <clears throat> Why all these soccer players? Why they they play so so uh, okay uh -huh. with low tops, uh -huh. right? The fact that you know they they run all over the field and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But if you then then his designer Eric uh, Avar from from Nike mm -hmm. uh, thought Kobe is crazy, right, for <laughs> requesting a low top shoe. Uh -huh. And you know, like after the launch of this shoe, mm -hmm. <clears throat> the rest is history. Crazy nowadays. All these players nowadays, uh -huh. everybody wears low tops. Oh, really? Yeah, everybody wear want, wants to wear low tops now. Oh, oh. <coughs> All because of his uh, vision. Right. Oh. If you notice the James Harden, uh -oh. uh, Paul George, and everybody, uh -oh. uh, Giannis, uh -oh. they have like pretty much low top shoes because uh -oh. they pattern everything to what Kobe did. You know? Which is, okay, this is what he wore in uh -oh. 1997 slum dunk competition. Okay. Uh -oh. So he started with this high tops, uh -huh. right, and then followed with the uh, with the uh, with the Kobe ones, uh -huh. with the crazy eight, uh -huh. crazy eight uh, Kobe ones, uh -huh. and then then put a high top shot. Put a high top shot. Yeah, put a high tops. Uh -huh. Then uh, 
That's a weird looking sneakers. Yeah, <laughs> then he got some mga edition with the space boots. Oh my god! <laughs> Did he use that in court? Yep. Yep. Oh man. Uh, these are the crazy ones. Uh, Adidas came up with a uh, Audi inspired shoe uh -huh. that came out in 2000, which is a uh, uh, a design. Uh, a design came from uh, Audi TT uh, Roadster. Uh, and this shoe, this is what Kobe wore when the evolution began. When he first started wearing this edition of, uh, of Adidas, he became, he became a, a, a different version of himself. Mm -hmm. That's when he introduced his name to the league, averaging 25, more than 25 points per game. Mm -hmm. You know, like becoming the MJ-ish mm -hmm. thing about being so clutch. Mm -hmm. And this is what he wore. This edition is um, what he wore knowing first championship. Yeah. I mean, not uh, this is one. This is the edition that he wore in All Star game. But the edition ito itself, the uh, ginamit niya the entire season, the first league like, champion against Indiana Pacers. So this is one of his favorite. And then a the year after, they came with the space boots, uh, Kobe's. Oh my. Yeah. That looks like a Kanye West sneaker. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> yeah, space boots sneakers. Looks like a. Uh, these, these are these are OG, so so major luma na siya. Uh -huh. Then, uh, apparently, uh, but you know, like ironically, he still plays good with this shoe. Uh -huh. But in the middle of the season, he realized that it looks bad. <laughs> it so, does look bad. So he what he did, uh, uh -huh. changed a ng sneakers to finals. Uh -huh. So he chose to wear uh, this edition again uh -huh. from last year, uh -huh. from the previous year. So yeah, so the championship against. Uh, Against uh, Philadelphia, uh -huh. uh, wearing uh, the same the same shoe. Oh, but what kind of material did he use for this? Parang... The material is kind of like saloob, medyo ano siya, padded siya sobra for sobra, protection. Sobra kapal, ano? Yeah. Oh. Then the material it's kind of different, eh, kasi uh -huh. parang siyang shiny uh, nylon uh -huh. that they've used. Parang, parang synthetic leather din, yeah. Medyo. Uh -huh. Yeah. Tapos yung I don't know because I wasn't able to use this sa, sa, sa game. But uh -huh. you know, like the look itself, it's yeah. it's it's funny. Yeah, it looks like a bus. It looks like a bus. Some of my friends call it parang plancha. Oh, oh, oh yes, oh, flat oh. iron. Flat iron, right? Oh. Eto naman. Tell us about the sneakers. Oh, this is the uh, the Mamba moment. Mm -hmm. uh, this is very special to him because this is what he wore. In December 14, 2014, mm -hmm. when he surpassed Michael Jordan's uh, sa scoring title, uh, he became the third that time, mm -hmm. uh, surpassing MJ. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is what he, this is what uh, a Nike uh, made for him. Mm -hmm. And this became so special. So as a fan, you would want to, you would want to have the shoe mm -hmm. that he was wearing that that moment uh -huh. so it's very special you know because uh -huh. like the material itself it's mm -hmm. it's knits mm -hmm. if you see it's very special uh -huh. it's like, like the chinelas no yeah same, but it's this is much more the, the material is much more um in detail uh -huh. right uh -huh. and the color is kind of a laker mm -hmm. a, a laker related laker kind of, inspired laker inspired with the with a gold swoosh mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and everything so pretty much a, a very good pair of show mm -hmm. well how much is this oh man <laughs> I don't know. Now it's going to go around six hundred to a thousand. Uh huh. So wow. U.S. roughly. I don't know now, but it could go up. Uh -huh. Ano mga sneakers pa rito ang important sa dami na collection mo? Uh, just for the Kobe's, I would say siguro isa dito would be the this Kobe threes. Uh, nung nag MVP siya, a Nike. Nike produced a, a, an MVP edition, ng Kobe 3. This is his pair of shoe when he won uh, the MVP award. Well, arguably, as a fan, he should have had four MVPs, but he got robbed with three. So, yeah. And we have here the big stages. This is ano? Ito yung validate sa kanya because like this is the first championship without Shaquille, without Shaquille. So. This is the uh, home in away, Kobe for uh, big stage. So good in price, yun talagang really went skyrocket. But yung sahain medyo like this color na because of 
being on, just on display, mm -hmm. but uh, I'm still happy that I still have them. And the, the fifth uh, title that he won, this is so much sweet para sa because this is the redemption shoe. This is the big stage um, home. Uh, this is what he wore when they won against the Boston Celtics in 2000 and 2010. Because they got beaten in 2008. Then Kobe won with this two in 2009 against Orlando. And this is what he wore when they beat Boston in Game 7. And this is a redemption shoe. Uh, you know, like beating the Celtics. So it's, it's super sweet on my part. And also here, the Kobe 5 breast cancer awareness. Uh, if you see uh, this logo at the back, yung pagbigay ni ni Kobe ng ng awareness sa sa hindi lang sa basketball, but then sa you know being a humanitarian himself. You know he wants to have this um, edition to give awareness. Grabe. This must cost a fortune, da, no? I mean, <laughs> siguro, pero I, you know, <clears throat> there's so many, so many uh, limited ones that are see rock. But that's how it is, you know, that's part of collecting, so. Right. Nice. Congrats. <laughs> wow, thank you, Randall. I learned so much from you, and I'm sure all our viewers learned a lot about Kobe. We came into your home not knowing anything about Kobe, and we're coming out of the house feeling rich and rich <laughs> with so much knowledge about this iconic uh, superstar. Pleasure is on me, sir. And uh, guys, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, uh, hit the notification bell, and always place your comments down below. And a big shout out to our friends at Kobe Section PH on Facebook. And thanks to High Minds Clothing for my shirt today. If you want to make any uh, comments about Kobe Bryant, you can post it below. And also subscribe to Christine Babo's channel. And we'd like to end this vlog with a quote, a famous quote from Kobe. So do the honors. Uh, yeah. Everything negative, pressure, challenges, are all an opportunity for us to rise. Mm -hmm. All well, came from Kobe himself. Well said. Peace. Bye, guys. To the Philippines, thank you so much. It was a tremendous honor. Um, seeing my number retired is something that I absolutely will never forget. The love that you guys have showed me, the way that you guys have embraced me, is something I will always, always remember. So thank you so much for that. And then secondly, I hope that you guys remember to always demand more of yourself, always push yourself beyond what your expectations are. And uh, demand more, love the hate, Mamba out. Peace.